Hi, my name is Mark Janicello. I'm an American actor, singer, and television producer from New York, and I now live in London. In 2004, I got a diagnosis of severe arthritis caused by a congenital hip deformity. I had been dancing on bad hips for over 20 years at that point in musicals and operas and operettas, and all of a sudden I could hardly walk, I couldn't sit down, I couldn't lay down, I was in constant pain. Well, the doctors, this was in Holland, I was living in Holland and Amsterdam at the time, said, well, you know, they could break my hips in five spots and try to reset everything, I'd be out of work for nine months, and perhaps uh, my pain level would be better, but they couldn't guarantee it. Well, that wasn't a very good prognosis. So I went online and I started researching and I found out that animal protein uh, actually increases inflammation in arthritic conditions and plant protein reduces inflammation. So for no other reason other than I was in a lot of pain, I became vegan in 2004. Well, my pain level dropped in, within a month from about an eight or a nine to about a two. And not only that, I was able to postpone having my right hip replaced uh, for 14 years. I actually just got it replaced in 2018. Um, it, at that time, I didn't know anything about how animals are treated or raised or the industrial food complex. I didn't know about antibiotics or this mass farming and all of those things. I just became vegan because I was in a lot of pain and I thought it could help me, and it did. After a while, of course, I began to understand what's really going on in our food system. And I also spiritually came to an awareness uh, of the kind of pain and bad karma I was causing myself uh, by eating animals and animal protein when it wasn't necessary for my survival. I'm turning 60 in November. This is my real skin. This is my real hair. I've never had Botox or plastic surgery. Uh, I've got good genes. My mom looks great. So does my dad. Uh, but most of it comes from my diet. I've got the energy of like a 12 year old. Sorry to say, but true. And uh, now I've been vegan now since uh, 18, for 18 years. And knowing what I know about how animals are raised and slaughtered and the food, uh, the way our food has been produced, I would never go back uh, to eating anything that's not plant-based. Back then in 2004, it was really difficult. There were no products. It was tofu. There were peanuts and cashews. And I was on tour a lot. So it was really different now. Being ve Going vegan has never been easier. You've got Beyond Meat. You've got Impossible Foods. You've got so many different brands. Even Subway, Kentucky Fried Chicken, McDonald's, and Burger King are now offering vegan options. This was unthinkable in 2004. So if you have the opportunity to try to go vegan, start off a little bit at a time. If you don't want to make a big change, go to McDonald's or go to Burger King. Try one of their vegan burgers or Kentucky Fried Chicken, their vegan chicken sandwiches, and see. you'll see how tasty and delicious this food can be, how nutritious it is, and you won't miss meat, and you will improve your personal health as well as your karma at the same time. Anyway, that's how I became vegan. Hello everybody, my name is Maida, I'm 32. I'm an actor, host, presenter, and a writer, and I'm also a health and performance coach. Uh, so, and I'm vegan uh, and plant-based actually for seven years now, and I'm going to tell you about the link and how I became to be uh, plant-based for such a long time. Um, of course, it's, it's not enough. Some people are basically raised vegetarian uh, and hence they are reprogramming, let's say, and rehabituating to, to different kind of diets is way easier, of course. So um, I seven years ago, I started uh, expanding my awareness on uh, sensory abilities, basically, and how they impact my performance in every area of my life, whether it be personal or professional life. Uh, especially as an actor, I realized that it's very important for me to, of course, be aware of my emotions, to be uh, continuously cleansing myself, and uh, hence the physical diet, of course, and food is very linked to how we perceive the world and, of course, how we treat our own system, let's say. So, uh, in my spiritual evolution, 
I uh, discovered that, of course, uh, my health and radiance influences other living beings around me and that, of course, other living beings' radiance and health and happiness also influences my own because we are and we are electromagnetic fields so we do influence each other of course and how we perceive the world of course influences our behavior and vice versa so uh this is how i became vegan uh this is this is this was the main reason uh, my performance my health my focus everything to be sharpened and to be uh for my mission to get uh, clear of course it was necessary for me to eat clean and of course uh, to look good it's part of the part of the part of the, the equation let's say uh, that that is the reason i became plant-based sometimes i do consume eggs and um, goat cheese or cottage cheese but this is very very rare it happens like once in two or three months i'm not trying to impress anyone by that it's a process of becoming a better version of yourself right and i do uh, I definitely do recommend veganism to everyone because it is the healthiest diet. It has been proven to me over and over again. As I said, I sometimes consume goat because it's non pasteurized, but it does, but dairy food is completely incompatible with the human body. So I definitely uh, ditch it. If you know a lot of models actually do not eat um, uh, dairy whatsoever, and that's why their skin is so smooth and so clean. So I definitely recommend slowly reprogramming yourself and, and learning that your health um, influences, let's say, impacts other people's and other in living beings' health and that uh, the radiance of the entire planet, if we cultivate it right, we will have, um, and we do, some, some of us do, of course, uh, we'll have a great, great lives uh, individually and collectively. So yeah, that will be my, my story. Hello, my name is Anthony and I've been a vegan hopefully about six and a half years and it's pretty much an interesting style really because I want to come down to just a one month back with my girlfriend Lisa at the time. I was just one month back. <laughs> I've been a carnivore pretty much my whole life before that. She was a veggie and she evolutionized into a vegan thanks to her parents and she had me constantly about my lifestyle and obviously the fact that I am um, everything she did is to the point where she made a deal with me she would drop the case if I tried her lifestyle out for just for the one month so I thought mm, yeah I'll do it you know get off my case finally get it over with so I did it and as I evolutionized day by day as trying her lifestyle out. I found out that it wasn't much different to what I already have and you do. I mean, you know, change of food. I wasn't finding it too complicated. It, I learned a few things, obviously. I, I found out how I was feeling in a hell of a lot better. You know, I had these stress, cholesterol level. That was all improved. And I found out how, about how cancer risk plummet, how type 2 diabetes to plummet. About the month, I went and checked out places, you know, just to learn a bit more. I went to farms, found out how a lot of these livestock farms, how that they would treat the animals. My girlfriend put me to the abattoirs up in the north, and I saw the horrendous treatment that they were treated. I'm not going to be at all. And it's actually pretty funny how some of these people treat animals in that. And when you see the fear in those animals, it's horrible because. They just want to be loved. A lot of them, they give us give humans a lot of emotional, emotional and humans give each other. Animals are very caring and they see that, that fear in their eyes. That's pretty heartbreaking when you start to realise what we do and how big humans are. You know, I guess a little bit, anyway, they pay for five. I pretty much learned a lot of things. <laughs> I learned learn out more about the ecosystem, learn more in terms of carbon emissions, learn more about how the land is going, learn how we're storing the land all over the world and everything, learn more how free animals has plummeted over the last 50 years, and that was pretty much 4% of free animals in the wild, and that's so I learned an awful lot over, the, over that time. Uh, at the end of it, I thought to myself, give uh, away. I was doing it. So it's been years as you know, just flown by since, and we're still a vegan. <laughs> and I'm still a vegan six years later. So I became a vegetarian when I was 16. I never really liked the taste of meat at all. 
the whole time, basically the when I was a child, but I just ate it because that's what most people do to get their protein and to make sure that their kids are growing healthy. And then when I was 16, I was like, you know what? I want to make the decision to become a vegetarian. And it definitely wasn't always easy, but I'm glad that I did it because now like I love being a vegetarian and it's so amazing and like my body feels so much better and I have more energy and there's definitely now so many ways to be a vegetarian and so many places you can go out and eat and you won't have to worry about only having to get a salad or only getting fries and there's so many great products that you can use like at home too. So when I originally became a vegetarian, I was the only one in my family. And it was definitely like kind of challenging because the entire family would be having a dinner and then I would have to either make my own or they would make it for me. But it like didn't really feel like I was super included in the dinner because I was eating something different even though I was. But then I was like, you know what? My family tried, like I love Morningstar and my family tried their products. And now it's like, sometimes we just have meatless Mondays or we have, they prefer some of the Morningstar products over like the meat products, which is great. But yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. So I've been a vegetarian since I was 16 and it's been a great journey. Ha <laughs> ha